Welcome to Fine Flares YouTube. Today we're going to be firing up over here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Not only follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram. Hit the kind of bit. Please subscribe, hit the like button, fire it up. I'm the main host, Mondo. Let's do this. Absolutely beautiful day out here at Universal Studios Hollywood. It's kind of warm, but kind of chilly and a nice breeze. And as I'm walking through the security gates, Danny messaged me with some big big news that's happening on the studio tour so do not do not click off this video until you watch the studio tour portion of today's vlog wow soon enough universal is going to get ready to kick off the 60th anniversary of the studio tour april 26 is going to be the big day we have a past member preview this thursday so we're going to be covering all of what they have to offer at least what they provide that day i don't know if it's the full offering you know come opening day for the public but man we're starting to see lots of decor go up everywhere it's looking beautiful look at this that's what i'm talking about bunch of fun photo ops have also arrived throughout there's a couple new ones that i need to cover today for the 60th anniversary uh let's take a look at some of the merch see if anything new has arrived it is 12 38 park closes at 7 and the wait times are incredible this is literally what a dream come true cut looks like if you're visiting Universal Studios Hollywood. 45 for Mario Kart, you never see that. Hollywood and Dine has now transformed to 60th anniversary themed foods. Pulled pork sandwich, barbecue cheeseburger, Woody Woodpecker on the top, Chili Willy funnel cake, barbecue chicken sandwich, and then uh, barbecue corn dog. Right across the time machine, this stand also will be selling the popcorn bucket. So multiple locations will have the Woody Woodpecker Glamour Tram Studio Tour bucket. Oh, we got Dracula out here. Stay in the shade. Stay in the shade. <laughs> oh, what? So, okay, this location always sells snacks, but it looks like they got the foods too. Oh, Valenta. I didn't realize that they got the pretzel too for the 60th. Look at that. It's a freaking pretzel that has 60. And then the cookies arrived too. So lots of new treats arriving over here. There's gonna be a lot to try this summer. I was walking from the city snack shop and I walked right here and I was like, wait, are these freaking walls? <laughs> yes, they are walls, Parisian courtyard will be used for Halloween Horror Nights. Wow. So exciting. We got walls gone up for Parisian Courtyard. What is it gonna be? <laughs> a lot of people are saying, uh, like still some type of Latin America house. I don't know. Uh, it's been an original house, I feel like, for many years now. So I'm guessing it's gonna be an original theme. I don't think IP based, uh, but we're gonna keep a close eye now. Now that Parisian Courtyard has walls, holy smoke around. You know they wanna get that facade up, quick status. Quick status. Hopefully we pray to good weather. The 18 Chen gods need good weather. If the Parisian Courtyard gets used again for a scare zone, could they please not use La Llorona? I feel like it's time to move on. If it's not La Llorona, we shouldn't have that soundtrack. Anybody else agree with that? What do you think? Post in the comments. And before we get on the studio tour, of course, we got to look at some Fast and Furious construction. A lot of work now happening on this right side right here. They are pouring concrete last time I was here where they were all out, but big time work going on. This is uh, with the structure, with the track that's actually at the top right there. That's what it's looking like now. I feel like the big changes that are happening that are visible right now is uh, on the on the hillside. Let's take a look at that. Oh, oh man, look at this. These are all foundation for the track. And it finally comes for the coaster. Look at that, we actually got like a beam right there too. Oh my lanta. Things are looking very bright out here. I really hope this is a project that's for next year. A lot of speculation has been said that it might be like a 2026, which is like, <laughs> feels so far from now, but we just gotta keep praying for good weather out here. Also, one thing that I just kind of noticed while I was looking at all these construction updates, 
Moulin Rouge has opened up. I see people dining in the outside area. So I guess this refurb that was happening here is done. So if you do your VIP tours, you will no longer be eating at Margaritaville. You'll be back at Moulin Rouge, which I know a lot of people are excited about that because there's a big difference between a Margaritaville one entree and a buffet and this nice courtyard and back area that you get as a VIP experience. I actually have a video on the VIP tour experience here at Universal Studios Hollywood. If you're interested, uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out, it's worth it. This is also 60th anniversary decoration over here at the Parisian Courtyard. Very, very nice. Take a look at that beautiful glamour tram. This whole celebration's for you. <laughs> All right, just taking a look at the construction happening out here. This is on the other side of the escalator. Obviously water everywhere, freaking ruining things when it comes down to the construction. But hopefully, we get good weather, dry weather most importantly, so they can keep progressing on all this. And we start seeing coaster track actually arrive, like actual physical coaster track. It's gonna be wild once that starts happening. Trying to get a couple more HHN updates. Behind Mummy, we have a tent, and this is what the facade's looking like. Kind of a weird facade, mainly because it's like a dead end room right there. And then that'll be the entrance. So maybe there's gonna be like a show scene of some sort happening right here. Who knows what this house could be? <laughs> I don't know. Nothing's really been rumored yet. We can't wait to see it come to life. And then behind Transformers, the tent went up not too long ago. And it looks like they're getting ready to start doing the walkthrough. The actual physical walkthrough. Looks like they're starting that process for whatever this house is gonna be. And then I'm guessing the facade will be on that side. Very similar to uh, Holidays in Hell, that side. But we're gonna get on the studio tour next and uh, get a closer look at all this. I've talked to like three people now on the way to the studio tour that have already done it and they're just hyping me. Big updates happening over here, let's do it. Don't forget to get a picture with this mural that has now been added right before you walk into the studio tour. Goes over the studio tour over the years. No print of this to be seen yet, so I'll let everybody know. I know a lot of people have fallen in love with this thing. I want a print too. Also, the studio tour entrance has now been updated. Uh, I'm going to step aside real quick. I want to look at this. First time seeing it. Got the broken bridge, the ice tunnel, the water, Metro sets, Bates Motel, Kong over here behind the R, Jaws. So cool. Dude, it looks beautiful. Waiting in the queue. These have changed now too. They got like an old school map. I think it's just a bunch of history stuff. Very cool. <laughs> All right, let's get on the studio tour. The dinosaurs, the brachiosaurus. All the branch the world of poetry. That's the magic of our sound stages, our live general. Being able to recreate these settings that might be hard to find out in the real world. This have been used for some of your favorite sitcoms uh, throughout the year. Shows like Who's the Boss, Different Strokes, Silver Spoons. And, uh, although we're powered by feet, they're usually towed by another vehicle, so usually a golf cart. We have the Ford Angley from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. We built 17 and a half versions of that car for the film. It's farmers who probably don't want to drive into battle. It's made out of plywood. It's just painted to look like metal. A lot of the vehicles that you see on screen nowadays are made with lightweight materials like fiberglass and plywood because it makes the vehicle itself lightweight and easier to transport. And that's pretty important when you have to go somewhere and film on location. The term on location just means anywhere outside of our studio. And here's a great example of a universal movie that's no stranger to filming on location. Welcome to Jurassic Park. 
That's right. Although they did utilize a few of our sound stages up in our front lot, they did film the majority of the first three Jurassic Park films on location on the islands of Hawaii. But not to worry, we don't have to travel that far to check out some of the props, set pieces, and picture cards that we have from those first three films. On our left-hand side, they all got their start right here on the Universal back lot, specifically our Little Europe sets, which we're about to head into in just a few moments. Little Still Europe can be transformed into any kind when I approach your car, have a hand up so I know exactly who to talk to. Uh, coming up on our left hand side. Uh, these sets are currently under refurbishment in preparation for our 16th anniversary celebration. But that plane that you're seeing in the distance, that's a real 747 airplane that they had destroyed uh, specifically for the movie. Uh, Steven Spielberg donated this set to us once he finished filming War of the Worlds, but he's not the only filmmaker uh, to have done that. Jordan Peele donated his sets after he finished filming his movie Nope with Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer. And here to introduce Jupiter's claim is the Academy Award winning filmmaker himself, Jordan Peele. Magic only happens when a team of collaborators, often in the hundreds, work together to take an impossible to an annual pass. So you visit us all year long. You can go to the Universal Box Office located in our upper lot or any of the upgrade kiosks located throughout the park. But I'll be at the one. As soon as you exit the studio tour, they have this fun photo off where you could go behind and it looks like you're on the glamour tram. Look at the setup. They even got the lights so at nighttime. You can still get your photo. Beautiful. Greetings from 1964 to 2024, the Universal Studios Glamour Tour. <laughs> so as I was filming that Jurassic Park area of the studio tour, my phone stopped working. The camera just shut off, so I didn't get to film it. But what I did see, and uh, I'm gonna get on the studio tour again, because there's no wait. Um, there's animatronics that got added, which look amazing. And then they're working where the dancing gasolina cars are. They're working on a dino paddock. What in the Baba freak is that gonna be? Maybe dinosaurs? Animatronics are coming to life more there too? Dude, more dinosaurs, yes. Always need more teeth. Dude, I, I can't, let's get back on this. <laughs> would have created too many reflections in the cameras during filming. You can see a picture and blow up because that tends to happen quite often in those movies. But some great examples of picture cars there. As you see, they can add a lot to the scene, a lot of character, a lot of style. Sometimes they might even be a, a character in the story. Now, a little bit further ahead here, you're going to see our dino panic. Uh, speaking of Jurassic World, we're keeping that world alive. The next installment in Jurassic World is coming out next uh, summer in 2025. We're expanding our collection here. We're we'll running out of room. Uh, we might actually be in Jurassic Forest. You're going to see some scenic props and picture cars from the original Jurassic Park trilogy all around us. Oh my gosh, guys, look to your right there. It's a T Rex. I think he's fake. I hope he's fake. Uh, we'll see as we go. We've got, I said, quite the uh, collection as we wind through. You're going to see scenic props, picture cars, the uh, mobile lab unit from the Lost World Jurassic Park, the second of the trilogy. I'm going to show you a cool scene with the lab unit right here. There it is coming up. I'm going to show you the scene where it's dangling off the edge of a cliff. Now, we did not film the scene. Uh, on an actual cliff, it was filmed on our front lot, but I'm going to show you here. But uh, not in one of our sound stages, it was actually uh, here, here. Watch out there, guys! Oh, God, look out. Uh, got some of our dino actors here. Uh, I found this there for As I was mentioning, that scene with the lab unit, uh, as I was saying as well, here it is. And uh, again, it was not filmed on a cliff, but on a front lot. Uh, we...
What an incredible day it's been over here at Universal Studios Holly with the amount of updates that we've got. This has to be the most big update video I've ever done. Wild how much things have changed from like one trip to the other. And we're talking like a couple days apart. Uh, I don't know if the 60th studio tour is done or what's still to be added. It's all gonna come to life officially uh, for past members on Thursday. Uh, I did hear today there will be past uh, or team member previews so the workers will get to experience it. Uh, sadly, we did not go through earthquake. I don't know if that'll open today or not. We'll see. But everything's looking like it's going to be a great summer over here at Universal. And then the dino paddock. I, I still got a lot to think about and ask around about that. But that came out of nowhere. Nowhere. All right, everybody. Smash that like button. Firing it. Bang.